Hello there. Today, I'm going to change your life. So don't click away and watch this whole video. And this isn't some attempt to try and sell you on anything either. The truth is this practice was so significant, so valuable, so transformative for me personally that it changed my life overnight. And today I'm going to teach you how to do this too. It's called the breath of life. When I first learned the breath of life, and now I'm speaking for Jordan a little bit here because this is really his story. Hmm. Hey Jordan, do you want to tell the story? No, brother, you got this. I, you're way better on camera than I am. Oh, you're just being modest, but okay, okay, anyway. But I'm gonna tell it as if I'm you. Well, that's fair, you are me. Okay, cool. So here's the deal. If I look at where I am today, I can say definitively that there were a few key ingredients that brought me to this moment here and now. And at the start of this year, right around February, we decided to do the seven day transformation with the entire Spirit Mysteries community live. This event was very powerful. It brought the whole community together and everyone who went through it genuinely saw some outstanding transformational shifts in their lives in such a short amount of time. But for me, there was one other thing that took place that really shifted my vibration in a huge way. It was right after I finished the seven day transformation, I was introduced to a friend who taught me the breath of life. Now the breath of life is actually very, very simple. It's just a way of breathing and a practice that you can do every single day to completely shift, balance, and harmonize your vibration. I began doing this practice and from that moment, I have not had a bad day since. That is actually true. I'm not trying to sugarcoat this practice or trying to sell you on something. I'm literally telling you the truth. I stopped having bad days when I started doing the breath of life every single morning. Sometimes I would have to do it more than that if I was having a particularly challenging time, but no matter what, without fail, until I truly learned how to activate my Merkaba, the breath of life was a lifeline to be connected to myself every single day. And it was something that fundamentally shifted my entire worldview overnight. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do this too. Now the breath of life by itself is very valuable. It's a seven second inhale, followed by a three second breath hold. And then as you exhale, don't worry about the time, but you're envisioning that you're breathing into your heart. Imagine almost as if you are weaving the breath itself into your heart. So with every breath of life, you're breathing in prana, nice and slowly, a seven second yogic inhale, then a three second hold at the top while the prana all coalesces together. And then you exhale, weaving that prana into your heart as if anchoring it or moving it into the heart itself or the heart chakra. Now, as mentioned by itself is very powerful. However, it wasn't just this breath that changed my life. The other thing was the four affirmations that go along with it. So when you do the breath of life, there is a practice of affirming words to your heart using the breath. And this is very, very important to do. You simply won't have the same experience without it. And by learning how to do it with these affirmations, you learn that you can unlock that with any affirmations and you can do the breath of life for anything that you're going through or anything that you want to develop and anchor into your heart. So here were the four affirmations. I love myself. I trust myself. I honor myself. I value myself. I will now guide you through the entire meditation so that you can do it right now. Are you ready? It's okay if you're not, you can pause this video, get yourself comfortable, get yourself into a meditative position if you like, and get ready to heal your heart. We will now begin the breath of life. Begin by saying out loud, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. Okay, now feel in your body, where did you feel it? When you said, I love myself, did you feel it in your heart, in your head, stuck in your throat? Maybe it was in your butt. Wherever it was, observe it without judgment. Give yourself another moment now to observe again when you say it one more time. Wherever it is, it's perfect right where it is. 
And now we're gonna use the breath of life to move it into the heart. Take a deep breath for seven seconds. And hold. And let it go into your heart. Breathe in again for seven more seconds. And hold. And let it go into your heart. Breathe it in nice and slowly. And hold. And let it go, weaving it into the heart. And breathing in one more time. And hold. And letting it go into the heart, always into the heart. Now, Say again, I love myself. Did you feel that being different anywhere in your body? Did you feel like the energy had moved? Now, oftentimes it's very easy to do this when we're all together in person. But since this is a video, it's gonna have to do that you're going to have to self assess a little bit. If you feel like it moved, but only a little bit or maybe halfway moving to your heart, that's okay. You can pause the video and go back and do it one more time. Okay, the next affirmation is, I trust myself, I trust myself, I trust myself. Say it out loud now. Good, and now notice where that felt in your body. Did it feel strong or weak? Did it feel flowing or stuck? Was it in your head, your belly, or even your feet? Sometimes people even say that it feels like it's around them, but it's not really inside of them. No matter what the answer, it's perfect. Let's do the breath of life again four more times. Breathing in for seven seconds. And hold and let it go, putting it in your heart. Breathing in. And hold. And letting go into your heart. Breathing in for seven seconds. And hold. And let it go. You're doing great. And last one, breathing in. Hold. And let it go, moving it into your heart as you exhale. Now say out loud, I trust myself. And how does that feel now in your body? Very good. And if you need more time working with this affirmation, you can go back and do it all over again. The next affirmation is, I honor myself, I honor myself, I honor myself. Say this out loud now. Good, and did you notice how it felt in your body? Remember, wherever it is, is perfect. So now we'll breathe in the breath of life and move it into our heart. If it was already in our heart, now we'll make it even brighter and stronger and more vibrant. Begin by letting all the air out of your lungs and then breathe in nice and slow for seven seconds. And hold and let it go into your heart. Breathe in one more time, nice and slowly. And hold. And let it go into your heart. And breathe in again. And hold. And let it go into your heart. And one final time, breathing in the good energy. And 
hold and let it go, weaving it into your heart. Very good. Now say out loud, I honor myself. I bet that one felt pretty good. Okay, are you ready for the last one? The last affirmation is, I value myself, I value myself, I value myself. Did you notice where it felt in your body? Now, when you're ready, let's breathe in the breath of life. You're doing great. Three more. Very good. Weaving it into the heart. Excellent. The force is strong with this one. Last breath. Very good. How was it in the silence? Now when you're ready, say, I value myself and feel where it is in your body. Did you feel it move to the heart? Now remember, with all of them, you can always go back and do it again and again if you feel like some of them are not in the heart. And that is the entirety of the Breath of Life practice. But wait, before you click off this video and think that you understand the secrets of the universe, I'm going to tell you something very, very important. The only way that I can say to you now authentically that this fully changed my life was with the awareness of knowing that I did it every single day sometimes multiple times a day. This is how I stopped having bad days, period. Because by loving myself, trusting myself, honoring myself, and valuing myself right from the start of the day, every single morning, it set the day up to be an absolutely outstanding one. It's for this reason that I want to tell you the practice that I did that helped make it all stick, which was writing it on my bathroom mirror. Seriously. Go to your bathroom mirror right after this video. Do not delay. Get out a dry erase marker or some lipstick and write down, I love myself, I trust myself, I honor myself, I value myself. And every morning when you see that, remind yourself to take just one or two minutes to say them out loud and do the breath of life. You can see that once you know how to do it, it only takes two or three minutes tops to actually do the whole practice. But this simple practice every single day will make you brighter, more vibrant, and a just generally overall more positive and well-balanced person. Why? Because the thing that we need most in the world is to love ourselves. When we love ourselves, we find ourselves loving the rest of the world because there is an intrinsic unity between all of us, but it starts within. So it has to start with some self-love. So now you have everything that you need to never have a bad day again. If you're willing to try it, commit to the practice for just a few days you'll start to notice some big shifts. In fact, you should even have noticed some big shifts just from this video, so you can see how powerful it is. And if you're one of the few who struggled to really notice anything during this practice, I'm gonna invite you to keep trying it a little bit more because I know that it will make a difference. Beyond that, if you're called to be a higher expression of yourself and you're willing to jump in with the breath of life and other spiritual practices, then I wanna invite you to come and become an initiate of Spirit Mysteries. This is a platform for your evolution, a place for self-realization and a place for all of us, those spiritual misfits of the world to come together and be a family, to grow together, to meet each other, to have events and gatherings and discuss our spiritual and mystical experiences free from the judgment and the nonsense of the world. There's so much hate out there. We created a container of pure love but also one that is founded in truth as well as authenticity. It would be an honor to share that sacred space with you and to be the change together that we're all striving to be. Please use the link in the description to learn more and join Spirit Mysteries. And otherwise, happy breathing, and I'll see you in the next video.